Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today, we're on location at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Baton Rouge for a catered crawfish boil with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking. Let's see what he's got going on. Now, this is the jambalaya pot, right? This is the jambalaya pot. That's so far, you got the liquid, the onions, and the meat. Yep. Okay, how much meat you got in there? Got, that's 34 pounds, 34 quarts of water. Okay. You have 20 pounds of onions, chopped yellow onions. Uh huh. We got 40 pounds of temple meat. That's pork. That's which is the temple off the hog. Very, very little fat in that other white meat. That's what all the yeah. championship jambalaya cooks use. That's for it. The, yeah. And, and then I have chicken. boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's and as soon as these finish cooking, which is close, I'm going to throw in some of my magic swamp dust sausage that I have made by the French Settlement Sausage Company. Yeah, that's some good stuff, too. Now, French Settlement Sausage, of course, they've got the andouille, the sausage and the green onion sausage and, and all kinds of stuff over there. They make a special one for Jimmy with the magic swamp dust in it. We're waiting to, to get a label on that, but yeah. it won't be long. Won't be long. Won't be long. We're working on it. Okay, now, uh, you got magic swamp dust in this? You got, got smoke and fry and rub, a fire department blend? What you got? <laughs> I got I got about uh, four tablespoons of smoke and fry and rub. I have seven cups of the uh, Creative Cajun Cooking Magic Swamp Dust. And then we're going to have the Cajun country rice. I have 40 pounds going in this pot. All right. Huh? Okay. Now, I know you, you're trying to get your pot started and everything, so I'm going to get yeah. out your way because it's getting kind of hot by these big old getting pots. It's getting hot, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy works hard for a living. <laughs> What's that going on, Jimmy? All right. Now it's time to take out the corn and potatoes. Corn went in about five minutes after the potatoes did. The potatoes, you can slide that knife through it real smooth and easy. And we're going to take it out, put it over here in this trough, and then we're going to put it into uh, the pans and shove them in the warmer. All right, bring them on. Come on down. Probably put it on one of them toasts, open the door, and put a pan right there. Yeah, probably so. Hold up. That's all good. Let it sit. Huh? Okay. Get the potatoes out before they get too done. Oh, so they don't overdo it? Yeah. Tell us what's going on. Okay. We're com coming out with the potatoes next. All right. Take a, uh, a shot coming out there. Got the potatoes coming on up. We got to let, let them kind of sit for a minute and drain. Before we put crawfish in, I'm going to add the other half of the seasoning for this first batch. Total first batch is 90 pounds of seasoning of the Creative Cajun Cooking Seafood Bowl. You don't add any other salt. That's only 9% sodium. You're not looking for a high sodium content crawfish. So somebody starts getting a little older and the hands and feet swell up, you don't have all that problem with low sodium. So you can eat as much as you can stand. that hot. Now what we're going to do is take the, the corn and potatoes out and put them in the warmer so they'll be ready to go while we're getting the crawfish ready. Now Jimmy has a ton of these stainless steel food trays that go in the custom built steel warmer on wheels. Doc loads the potatoes and corn into the trays and Jimmy puts them in the warmer so they can get the crawfish going. Jimmy's rig has a walk-in cooler for keeping the crawfish until he's ready to boil. Today he has over 1,800 pounds of crawfish to boil which he's going to do in two batches of about 900 pounds each. So that's about 27 sacks per batch. Now if you're looking for a good price on live crawfish, you can call our friends at Cajun Catch Seafood in Gonzales. They kicking high. They just come out of the water yesterday. I can tell. How many sacks is that? 27. 27. And you ought to have 27 more left, or 26 more left, or something like that. Something like that. Once the crawfish are in the basket, Doc washes them down and hooks the basket to the hoist. Now Franklin is helping out by carefully adding more of Jimmy's dry seafood boil seasoning to the water. There needs to be about 10 pounds of the seasoning per 100 pounds of crawfish. Next, the crawfish basket is lifted up by the hoist, rolled over to the center of the trailer, and slowly lowered into the boiling water. All of Jimmy's cooking rigs are custom designed by himself and fabricated at his son's shop, American Industrial Plant Services. 
This basket can hold up to 1,200 pounds of crawfish to be boiled all at once, and he can do it in several batches. So if you have a big crawfish boil coming up for your company, make sure you give Creative Cajun Cooking a call or go by their website at creativecajuncooking.com. Now, while the crawfish are in the water, it's time for Jimmy to check the food in the other pots, including adding the rice to the jambalaya. Now, now I got to tell you how this stuff works, huh? All right. All right. When, when you get the crawfish live and you get them ready to go in the pot, drop them in. I got 10 burners underneath this pot, so you kind of kick it hard so the flames just don't reach out and bite you, you know, because mm -hmm. it will. Uh-huh. So you're going to cut it back to about half throttle, keep the flame from rolling up. And then it'll start bubbling after a little while when you get the crawfish in. <clears throat> and when those bubbles start ganging up and be like suds or something on the water, you'll, you'll start seeing the crawfish want to rise about that time. So you'll turn it off at that point. These crawfish are young. This is early in the years. The uh, shells are very tender. So you got to be careful. You can't boil a whole lot at one time. They, they mash up, you know. So we only got 900 pounds in this pot. That's all. So we got another 900 we're going to drop in in just a minute. There you go. Now we do have some nice size for this time of year, but yes. they're still fairly tender. They're t real tender. Yeah. So you got to be careful with them. Now how do you know when, when it's time to go ahead and take them out? All right. When, when it's time to take them out, that little foam will be building at the top. You'll start seeing them rise a little, little bit, just very gently. They'll rise. You'll turn the fire off and let them set. And as you see them rise, you're going to take this little paddle, we'll kind of knock them down under the water a little bit, keep them moving around. And that way, they'll uh, all soak up their seasoning. Because whenever the crawfish starts cooling down, that's when the seasoning leaves up inside the shell. And that's what gets the flavor inside the crawfish. Sometimes people want to boil a crawfish in plain water and they'll end up just sprinkling seasoning across the top. It's very conservative with seasoning that way. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah, you get the flavor on your fingers and stuff, but it's nothing like the flavor inside of the crawfish. And that's what happens when they start sinking in this seasoned water. They'll sink, and when it's time to come out, they'll be so flavorful. And you got about 90 pounds of seasoning in there. Yes, about 90 pounds of seasoning to 900 pounds of crawfish. And you developed your own, the Creative Cajun Cooking Seafood Bowl. Oh yeah, the Creative Cajun Cooking Seafood Bowl is where it's at. That's right. It's, it's only 9% sodium and full of flavor. So don't be adding all this other stuff. That runs your cost up, but the season is expensive because I'm not selling salt. Right. And, and you can get it in bulk too, save you a couple of pennies and get it at www.creativecajuncooking.com. There you go. You can get All it. All right. Now we got Cajun the next cooking. batch coming over here. <clears throat> so anyway, I think these is about ready to come out. And we're going to light up. All right, Jimmy, now you got everything ready now. Oh, yeah, everything ready. All these bugs got to do is finish soaking it a little bit, and uh, we'll be ready to start serving at 6 o'clock. Okay, now the first batch is already over there. First batch over there, all the jambalaya's over there. The rice and the beans with ham, all that's over there. Marinated vegetable salad, you know, cocktail sauce, mixed in motion pudding, corn and potatoes. They're all there. Now, as you can see, Jimmy got some family with him here. This is Wesley, his son, and a lot of other folks that are helping serve today. Um, kind of a will work for food kind of thing. Yeah, work for food. Absolutely. But you have rules. Now, what are the rules for people who are serving oh, food? You got to have your gloves on and work with you uh, safely. Make sure you practice good food safety. Everything, hot food, hot, cold food, cold. That's and right. And be courteous to all the customers when they come through. It's, it, it's not hard to be uh, courteous to these people because they come here every year and they just love everything that we do here. And we enjoy passing a good time, showing them what we do down here in South Louisiana. That's right, we met Dennis, the, uh, the committee chair of, of all of this earlier, and he was talking about how much the people look forward to uh, this convention because of the crawfish and everything. And Jimmy works really hard to get some good crawfish here for this event. And you should see the people here already, they're, they're dying to dig in. Yeah, they, they're waiting for the gun snap. <laughs> That's right. Now, so this just needs to go into the, the hopper over here, and you're done except for cleanup. That's it. All right. Well, Serving we're going to see some of yeah, That's right. <laughs> Serving and cleanup. That's right. Serving and cleanup. That's all that's left. And we'll talk to some of the people who are here enjoying the event. While they get ready to serve, we've got to take a quick break. But when we come back, we'll have more information about how you can have a crawfish boil like this from Creative Cajun Cooking. So stay tuned to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today we were on location at a crawfish boil with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking. He made some red beans and jambalaya and boiled 1,800 pounds of crawfish. Now if you need something like this for a company event, you give Jimmy a call or check out his website at creativecajuncooking.com. And we'll have everything on ours at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. Thanks for watching.